Um, this is a really awkward video, but I'm in my garage, if you, if you didn't know that already. Um, and I'm working on my tiny house right now. Um, right now I have, if you can see, um, some of the boards are under that aluminum, but I'm finishing drilling up holes to bolt it to the frame because it's been really, really cold out lately, and um, I kept breaking drill bits. I broke like four or five, and I don't have that many left, but I got a new drill and some bigger drill bits, and it's going pretty smooth today. Um, if you can kind of see, I have all of this drilled, ready to bolt, um, and I'm working right here. I'm going to recut a board that I that was newer and not recycled for this darker one where my foot's on. Um, but I got new tires for it. It's repainted. And I have to drill the holes for the frame. And then I have to lay out the aluminum sheeting because that's going to be like my waterproofing. Because aluminum doesn't rust, I I guess I think that's a thing. Um, so that's I have to draw the holes through the wood, and um, then I have to lay the aluminum sheeting underneath, which then I can just line up the boards, and just go right through the holes that I drilled through the boards in the frame. Cause some I had to like make holes, like um, right there I had to like drill a hole through the frame. And then I have to check a septic tank, um, because I need a septic tank. And I don't know why I'm making this, but I'm just really proud because I'm getting work done on it. Um, but I have to check a septic tank and drill all the holes through the um, aluminum sheeting. And then I can start buying, I'm going to buy windows so I know how big to make openings in the wall, um, but if I pass my hair thing Thursday, then I'll have like 200 bucks left over that I don't have to spend on retaking it. So I'm going to go to the uh, Habitat for Humanity restore and buy, I don't know, I think I want like six or seven windows in it, because there's going to be, you can't really see, this is all in my head, but um, see right here, this big section is going to be the kitchen. And on this triangle, like, I guess the where the hitch and shit is, is going to be where I keep, like, a 50-gallon drum for fresh water. I might do two 50-gallon drums if it'll hold it. At least one, though. Right here is going to be, like, my kitchen and my loft above. And it can be 13 feet tall from the ground to the top of the ceiling. And my ceiling in here is 11 feet from ground to the very top. So, I will have an extra two feet of space, but this section right here is going to be my kitchen and my bathroom on that side where the wa uh, wall of the garage is. And my loft where I sleep is going to be above it. And back there is going to be like a little hallway hangout place where I'm going to have like a desk and maybe a couch. And if I can fit a TV, um, I'm going to put that there. And then, like, the last, like, two feet is going to be a little tiny porch so I can, like, have coffee in the morning. Um, I don't know. I'm really excited. Um, I haven't really made an update on it, and I was hoping that I would have, like, shot more videos with my progress, but it's been really, really cold lately. And, like I said, I couldn't really work in here when it was, like, 10 degrees because I'm a baby. And I don't want to keep breaking, like, tools and shit. But, um, yeah, this is update on my tiny house. Goodbye. Um...